We didn't even know the word connected learning when we started Butterfly Do Fields way back in 2009. Uh, all we wanted to do was to have kids have fun with science. Um, the idea was that uh, kids actually learn better when they apply their concepts, do things hands on, rather than just textbook based oriented stuff. And in India, most of the educational stuff is very theoretical, very textbook based, bookish and very little uh, avenues are available for kids to apply what they learned. Now the big question was how do you make it happen in a context in a large diverse city like India. So we started with uh, summer camps, after school workshops where kids would come uh, and you know do fun stuff and then we slowly started exploring ways in which we could make this happen then we started taking thinking of how do we take this hands-on learning solutions to schools into the classrooms and make this happen and that's why that's how the idea of butterfly Defense was born the first learning for us was sachetization of connected learning sachets yeah hey can you give me a sachet please yeah, this is the way large MNCs cracked the market in India. When these companies entered uh, and wanted to penetrate Indian market uh, and they wanted to change behavior of people, of course people loved the product. But what had to be changed was the way it was given and packaged. They were giving in big bottles and the reality in India is you're talking of $20 a week and then do you expect people to spend like three dollars on a bottle? It doesn't work. But a five cents for a sachet, it does work. The same learning we tried to take it for the education. We said, how about breaking educational learning modules into sachets? And we created learning sachets modules in the form of sachets. Each topic is formed into a sachet where there are multiple learning outcomes. And we thought this is the way it should work. So, so how are these actually made? Oh, do you want to actually come and see this? The Bugaya? Yeah. Okay. The production unit. Yeah. yeah. We'll go there. Let's go. Let's go. So sachetization was a easy solution, at least workable solution that we started with and we thought that this entire school system would be open to us, would be welcoming us with open arms. But it was actually the other way around. The system was not ready for changes, so we had to create these smaller modular sachets which could be plugged into the existing system in a non-threatening manner. Because in an educational system, there are various stakeholders, right from the school administration which runs it, to the teachers who need to follow a certain regime. you got kids and you also have parents with their own set of expectations. So any new solution or a change, you need to ensure that all these stakeholders are satisfied. Now this particular production unit that we started and this solution of sachets is um, an alternative to the high capex solutions of experiential centers, science centers or labs which are set up to uh, you know creating these into you know various contexts which uh, these uh, you know sachets can be extended to.
the next uh, learning for us is we should never prejudge and presume what kids can do or cannot do uh, helping them learn about academic concepts through these sashes is one aspect but the moment you change it and give an open ended creative context and say what would you want to do what would be your dream project and 8 out of 10 kids would come out with a solution of a dream project of making a superhero uh, on a drone or they would make uh, solar stunt vehicles and and the moment you say hey you would want to build that and for them yeah all barriers seems to suddenly collapse and the moment you say hey you know we could create an ecosystem for you to do that where have some of these uh, pre university university college grads Uh, some of these maker lab people um, some people from the research and this creates an ecosystem who could help these children uh, you know ask their doubts clarify on to something i think that's when possibility of creating a magic really exists and that's the second learning that we should never presume what they can do or not but if we just give them a platform for them to chase their dreams they could actually create magic the next most important learning that we got was to enable this learning across different contexts and how do you do the different contexts across different contexts is you know from the classroom from home how do you bring it to anywhere anytime but for that i'll have to show you something let me get you a model here so this is the model of a concept on how vacuum cleaners work they build a model and so there's a motor out there let's say this is just to show an example of how does to be start and there you go there is now the crux here is for a child to build this model and understand the properties of uh, air understand the concept of pressure but it doesn't stop there a kid would come back and say hey Uh, what if i attach a tube which can go uh, under a table and suck up things there what if i want to make a more powerful one can i attach a series of batteries and that's where the entire learning starts triggering so what started as a small activity in a classroom in an online class suddenly is expanded to a, a context where which is absolutely you know during a weekend or during vacations and a child has a brain wave and he would want to trigger out or you know build something out of it so it's very important how do we enable this change of context of learning spaces and also give flexibility to children sampurna lockdown hone ja raha Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced a total nationwide lockdown. 80 cities across India in 75 different districts are now in complete lockdown. Exodus that hasn't been seen in India in decades. With the onset of pandemic, all the schools were all, you know closed. Kids were all stuck at home. Incidentally at that point one of the doctors community Uh, in one of the groups said hey could someone help us solve this uh, solution or create a solution for us for uh, uh, stopping infections for the medical fraternity and what they wanted was some sort of a intubation hood we hardly knew what that was for but then we figured out it was a way to isolate the medical fraternity from the patient and all the aerosol which gets generated that was a problem statement with uh, as a forward in one of the groups and when it came to our uh, organization this bunch of uh, stem coaches who are there then we have got the makers lab fabricators there and then we have the medical fraternity on the other side talking about what is the problem that they want to solve and add to it there are also kids who are doing the design thinking course there and all of these together came up with this solution of Uh, a portable intubation hood which could also be collapsed um, and also discarded with minimal possible uh, infections and uh, and i think that is uh, a solution which had a lasting impact 
for people and this is a real life solution an example of how connected learning brought people from you know very diverse backgrounds to solve one common solution and that is saving lives this journey of ours for the last uh, over a decade and a half you know brought us through a lot of roller coaster uh, you know ride uh, what we figured out was uh, first breaking barriers creating small solutions like sashes which are modular which can be plugged into existing systems to how do we enable uh, solutions which can work across contexts which can also enable the ecosystem to you know, become so much more stronger and of course covid essentially you know was the turning point in a number of ways because it uh, practically pushed us in fact the entire countries and societies to the wall to ensure that they figure out solutions which is not about one person solving it but a variety of uh, domains professionals experts and uh, also children who can think creatively uh, and 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 i think the essence and the future of connected learning the uh, you know steps have been laid down and uh, that's uh, the way the entire organization has changed and pivoted in the last uh, 15 months or so uh, itself shows us that the future is all about connected if magic has to happen we realize that it's not the one who does it but it's the connected we who have to do